Hello, my beautiful Aquarius friends. Welcome to your December 1st through 15th, 2021 reading. Many blessings to you all. This is a collective reading for all Aquarius, sun, moon, and rising. That means if you'd like a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. And with that, we'll go right into the energy. We've got the Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. This is the energy of feeling like nothing's happening. You can't see anything. The, the surface is calm. There's nothing disturbing the water and you feel like there's nothing going on underneath. Well, you couldn't be further from the truth. This is the energy of things happening under the surface, behind the scenes. The universe is working this out. What it means is you don't have any input on when it happens. You just have to stay focused on the goal because this is where it's all being collected and being brought to you in the perfect order. With this, we have the Eight of Cups. So whatever you're waiting on here, all of the time you've spent waiting has been honing all the skills you need and, and allowing you to develop in the best possible way so that you can move forward when it's time. And this means it is time to move forward. The Eight of Cups is the energy of a yes from the universe, allowing you to move into the cycle of your new horizon, which means you get the whole horizon to choose from, not just one thing. So yes from the universe after we have to be very patient and allow the universe to do its part. And here we go. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, staying focused, two of pentacles, Spirit guides, gods and goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Aquarius, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So there's that old five of pentacles showing up, telling you to stay, stay focused, hang in there. No news is good news. Allow yourself to just keep making progress, doing the things you have responsibility for, and let the universe work out the big stuff. So we had that energy of the two of pentacles in the second cut card, which was focus on what you're doing. Don't get distracted. Allow yourself to stay in the zone. Ace of Cups. That's the Holy Grail and a new beginning. The beautiful eye of the all-seeing eye there, the knowledge of the Akashic Record with the, the sun, the, well, it's not the sun, but it's the sun's reflection off of this energy representing cycles beginning here at the, at the eclipse and opening up. So from the, it's a waxing energy, right? Moving forward into this cup, the cup is holding the elixir of life and all of the knowledge of the universe. So we'll take that. That's the DNA of all existence, which means your possibilities are literally unlimited. They're only as limited as your beliefs. So take, a, take, an, a, take that as it, as it is for you. Here is the Ten of Pentacles, which is abundance coming in. This is a very nice energy of continuous throughout a lifetime or a solid lump sum. Very nice energy of the Ten of Pentacles, wealth and prosperity. Eight of Pentacles. This is where, now, it's just... FYI, this is an example that just popped right fast, is as long as you've been waiting and manifesting and bringing in the energy, this is the moment where you get to actually put, put it all into motion. If you're waiting so that you can get money, so that you can take a, you know, be, go to school or waiting for a grant or waiting for a job that gives you the opportunity to learn on the job and still make money, this is that moment. That Eight of Pentacles is the Apprentice card, which means mastering a skill or mastering new experience, right? So those of you who are working into something new, this is the moment. It's all materializing. You just have to get through this part, which is the patience, right? Be patient. Allow the universe to do its part. There's the Two of Pentacles. It's echoing again. That is letting go of the need to 
uh, be in, involved in everything else. Stay focused on your, you're in the flow. You want to focus on your goal and don't let the, the world at large distract you. You don't want to drop those coins. We have the King of Cups. The King of Cups represents a water sign energy or someone who is very much in a place of wanting your highest good. This is an authentic energy and it is the energy of being blessed with someone who wants to help you or be in a very loving position with someone. It may be a water sign in your life. It doesn't have to be masculine. Water sign energy showing up as the king is that kind of energy of offering the authentic assistance. Ace of Swords, clarity and focus. Now it's time to get serious. We're looking at this from a point of now we understand we have to be on target here and literally being in a place where the universe is creating this opening. This is a gift from divine. All aces are gifts and this particular one is the gift of clarity letting you cut loose from all previous obligations. Now you've got yourself, you know what you know, you know what you want and you know what it takes to get there and this is the the dedication of the universe to help you do that. So you've got two aces out here, both are which uh, both of which are divine blessings. Remember, aces are always a gift from the universe. Well, ten of cups, happily ever after. Harmony, peace, happiness, joy, and this is in your career and finance area, so that's fabulous. That's the rainbow light energy, so that's what you get when you focus, right? And you've got two tens out here now, so that's fabulous. This is the happily ever after energy. It means divine healing, happiness, joy, harmony, peace, abundance, everything you could possibly want that's the energy. Now, you're not at the at the breakthrough moment quite yet. You still may be in getting the last piece in order. Stay focused, even though it seems hard. This is right before a breakthrough, so that's within your grasp. It's telling you, you want this? It's it's right around the corner from this, but you can't give up. Right? Stay stay pushing forward and here we go. 3 days, 3 weeks, 3 months, third time's the charm. Three of Swords. It's giving you a time period. And the Wheel of Fortune, which we will always accept gratefully, gladly, and excitedly. This is the energy of karmic holds being released. If you've been feeling like you've been spinning out and your wheels are stuck, this wheel will pull you out of that rut. We will be moving forward very quickly. All red lights turn green. All doors open. And I'm talking about doors you didn't even know existed. It's like unlocking a secret level. Okay, once that happens and now you're on your way. This is like being shot out of a cannon, so be prepared to hit the ground running when this opens up. Woo-wee, Aquarius. You just came right out with some good stuff here. Let's see what else we got. Well, hello, Archangel Michael. That's the king, and it also represents Aquarians because it is the swords are our energy. Um, I am an air sign as well. This is the energy of Archangel Michael, protection, focus, being in a place of allowing all obstacles to be removed. This is very strong energy of being in your specific energy. This is empowered. It is the masculine king of your sign. So this means full, open energy, ready. You are fully actualized. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light, divine spirit. Spirit guides, gods and goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Aquarius, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You're always welcome and very appreciated. So right off the bat, we have the Hierophant, and the Hierophant is the Taurus Major Arcana. It's also being accepted, okay? So this can mean a job, a school, a program, a, a membership to a specific organization, Okay, so this is no news is good news. Well, there's the good news. The Hierophant's coming in to roll out the red carpet. Coming through the battle victorious, six of rods. All the dedication and the energy you put forth towards this puts you in a high position here. This is a victory and literally getting accolades. It's like a, par a parade in your honor. Three of pentacles. 
even though you're feeling like, you know, well, I don't have the Ten of Pentacles, you keep doing this. The work you put in is what's going to cement this energy of double for your trouble. Because that's what this card means. It's expansion and growth financially through your effort. And a resurrection, the judgment card. So you may have tried to do this at some time previously and now you're being restored. So if you applied or tried to get you know, a grant or tried to get in a school and it didn't work, here comes your second chance. You're being revived and restored. The seven of pentacles, the energy of the fruit is on the vine. And even though you feel like it's not happening very fast, it's only because you're right, your nose is right up to the to the fruit there. It's never going to change uh, as fast in your physical presence as it will energetically. So you don't have to sit and, and hover over it. But it, it's coming. Just know that. You don't, have, you don't have to guard it for it to happen. But if you feel like you must, that's, it's on you. <laughs> oh, look, we've got the King and the Queen of Cups. So now we've come together in the energy. If you have a relationship, this is the energy of everybody being on board and in the energy of love. So we love that. Then we have the world card. The world card is an opening. This is a beautiful opening being created by divine. There's the elements. They've created a vortex for you to step through. And this is the Virgo coming through this opening. It's allowing you to seek and you shall find. This is that moment where you are now leveling up into your, your, the opening that's being created by that ace. Well, we have a document here. So if it's a contract for a house or a job or, like I said earlier, maybe a loan that you need to go to school, getting your funding together, whatever this is, is being signed. It's official. It's an official document. It's a bonus card that comes in this deck, but it's a parchment, and that's what it stands for, for me. And here is the Two of Swords. This is telling you get out of your head, get out of your left brain, and stop looking at the reality of this is hard and get in your right brain any second there's a breakthrough coming the universe is working in my favor i receive abundance from sources known and unknown this is only temporary these are the things you do you say these affirmations like beating a drum relentlessly optimistic and just keep on doing it because what happens is it won't instantaneously change this but it'll change your your energy and you won't feel this suffering. So allow yourself to speak the blessing you want to receive rather than speaking what you're not getting. Pray the answer, not the problem. The moon, Pisces moon coming in here, it will be revealed. It's all coming to light this is all happening you just have to be in a place of continuously putting the light toward your goal and that's why you have to be in the positive energy now you can stay in the negative if you want to see how long it takes you <laughs> i'm just saying I, I wouldn't want to be miserable and in the in the energy of waiting so be optimistic in the waiting Here's the King of Swords showing up again, Archangel Michael and your King, my Aquarius friends. So, fully activated in the King's energy is manifesting exactly what you need, exactly when you need it. And this reading sure does hit that mark. This is a blessed reading. You've got all this beautiful opening energy, lots of money showing up. Everything you need is to be revealed. You've got a timekeeper even giving you an estimation of time and all new things coming in. So many blessings to you, my Aquarius friends and family. I love you guys. Have a wonderful first half of December. It sure looks like there's some good news coming. Namaste.